Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to another Solidity coding session. This time we're going to code out um, to participate in the yield farming program. Okay, it's going to be two videos because I can only do 100 lines at a time. Hands get too tired. So without further ado, also I only have 30 minutes. So let me do this. Let's go over to our Solidity right here. And let's get started. All right. Yikes. Okay, so let's see. We're going to just do the um, pragma solidity. Carry. Ooh, 0 0.8 point. Is that right? Yeah. We're going to do the interface. Obviously, our C20. I'm going to pass in function approve. Address spender integer into 256 amount. And that's going to be external returns. Okay, got that line. I'm going to do a function transfer address recipient. Your 256 amount. Oh, boom, boom. Did I do that right? Okay. Yeah, we we'll just do it like that. Boom. Sorry about that, guys. Everyone, external returns. So we got that. Okay. Function transfer from. From. Address has to be from send. sender. <laughs> address recip recipient integer 256 amount boom boom Ex external returns oh, come on we have uh, another function balance of External view returns. So it's a numerical value. All right, so we got that. Now we're going to do um, the I pair. Okay. So interface I pair. Oh, no, boom, boom. So we're going to pass in this. The function is to get reserves. That's an open parameter. External view return so anybody can see it. Integer one twelve. Never heard that before. Reserve. Guess that's the integer that the reserves use. I don't know. Shoot. Oh, bad that. Oh, that'll be zero. I'm so sorry. Oh, yes. Integer 112, reserve 0. That's interesting. Uh, reserve 1, 32. Oh, it's a block. Okay, I know that. Block time. Wow, that was awesome. We'll interpret that later. So now we got the function total su supply. Open that up. Boom. That's going to be an external view returns. All right. So that's the I pair. Whew, that's, a, that's a good one. Enter base. I master chef. Okay. It's the name of the function here. Function. Uh oh. Come on, man. Interface. Okay. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Function. So interface. I master chef. Right. Oh, okay. 
You gotta make sure these are up. Okay. Ugh. So a master chef will have a deposit withdrawal and a pending award. Okay. So those are the two functions. Deposit. It has to be integer two fifty. Oh, come on. I hate that. I want it to be two fifty six first. Underscore PID integer two fifty six. Underscore amount external function withdraw to two fifty six. To withdraw into two fifty six underscore PID integer two fifty six underscore amount boom external function. I'm always messing that up. Function pending reward Ooh. integer two two fifty six so PID address. <laughs> That was something funny. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. <laughs> User. External view returns. I want to get so good at this, man. This is so much fun. Ah, da -da -da. So those are the two interfaces. Is it three? Three interfaces. IERC20, the iPair, and iMaster Chef. Okay. Obviously with a name like that. Come on now. So now it's going to be the, let's say, con contract slash loan yield farm farmer. I love that name. Wow. Address public slash token address. Address public token. Oh, that's a. Uppercase. Um, air address. I don't know. I had a brain for it. I was thinking about Donald Trump. I don't know why. I can imagine. I can't imagine all the trouble. Oh, is it worth it? Okay, we're not talking about political climate here. I have a feeling a lot of you may not be from America, so who gives up? Flash token amount. God, dog, I hate that. <laughs> Public liquidity liquidity token amount. Nice, nice. Integer Public with a PID. I don't know what the PID is. I have to do a constructor. All right, we have to pass in the variable state and local, state and global variables, if I remember right. Constructor. I love constructors. I have no idea why. Right. Um, address period address master chef address integer six let's go PID I'm gonna pass in these components under there so what under there? we got flash token address pair address and master chef address Woo -wee. equals underscore flash token address I have to put those in there, okay? Semicolons to differentiate. And we have pair address equals equals under, underscore pair address, right? Boom. And we have master chef address equals underscore master chef address. Oh, you got that. And we got PID equals underscore PID. Okay. So 
So now we got that. Here we go. I'm going to do a function. Hello, hello. All right, this is part two. This is going to be cut. You probably won't notice the difference. Well, you will because of the beginning here. Anywho, where are we? We are right here. And I have to get the uh, code up. Let's see where we at. Let's see where we at. All right, the constructor, my favorite. I have no idea why I love constructors so much, but I do. So, okay. Where are we? So we're actually at the participant yield farming, okay? That's where I was going with this. Function, right? Is that right? Function, participant, yield, farming. Uh, integer 256. Come on. I'm telling you, anything before 256, I'm going to just keep out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't hit, you know, it's not a quick key stroke anymore, you know? No, I mean, I'm out. Integer, see? Now I have to do that. Min liquidity, uh, liquidity token amount. So that's the minimum. External. And we're going to pass in. Wow, we're going to pass in a lot. I'm looking up here real fast. The constructor. Aha! Boom, I see it. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Structure, flash token address, pair address, master chef, integer. Aha! Okay, we got it. Got it. Got it. Then we pass in that. Then boom. Then function. Okay, and right now with the function, we're, we're here. Make sure, boom. So this is going to be a flash token amount equals flash amount. Okay, code. All right, this is a good amount. Okay, <laughs> literally, sorry. Okay, liquidity token amount can we do that equals flash amount ierc20 flash token address dot approve the pair pair at um this is so much this is so cool flash token amount you start to really understand. It's nice. Why is that like that? Okay, let me just show you. Oh, uh, I know that. Okay, maybe that's why. This is reserve. Reserve zero. This is two. Reserve one. Those two. And then have an empty whatever equals I pair. Let's go pair address get res get reserves that should be open nice nice okay makes sense integer 256 okay amount token equals flash token amount times Reserve one, wow. Divided by reserve zero, which is actually the first account. Okay. IERC 20, air address, approve, master chef address. Look, look. Liquidity token amount. Ooh, it's like some uh, brain 
teasers like flash to flash token address uh, transfer from message uh, sender address this and the flash token amount we have IERC 20 then we have the pair address right transfer other ones transfer the pair address will transfer the message dot sender the liquidity token amount I, oh, I master chef. <laughs> I love that master chef address. Ah, deposit. There we go, Papa. Liquidity token amount. Okay, so always deposit to those. In order to make the deposit, those two parameters have to be met. The liquidity token amount. It's a lot going on. A lot of moving parts, man. I, I just. Don't know how to fully explain it, or maybe I don't fully understand it myself. But I'm getting there with withdraw yield farming. So there, eternal. I master chef. Master chef address. Withdraw. Is liquidity token amount. Oh, boom, boom. Sorry, my table. I turned the table so I can have more room, but now it's wobbly. Just to let y'all know. Hmm. All right, here we go. Now I'm called hot. So now we have the integer 256. Flash token token balance equals IRC flash token address uh, to go outside when you finish it balance of address this ARC 20 Flash token address. I transfer message dot sender. Flash token balance. We have flash token amount equals zero. Liquidity token amount equals zero. Oof. The news is my function check. I love this pending rewards address user external view returns integer two fifty two fifty six. Also, yeah, forgot. Try not to think about it, but I can only run this code now and um, for now and remix IDE due to the fact that I messed up and erased some important files off my C drive. Even though I backed it up to my external hard drive, the whole C drive. There's just certain files you're just never supposed to mess with. And I'm afraid I'm not able to get Ubuntu, Ubuntu, I said Ubuntu, but it's Ubuntu. And my terminal's not working. So I have to see how I can re repair that. Unfortunately, I have to find the actual file, but because it's, it's just a mess. So I'll put me back a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, oh 
snap. I'm done. That was great. I didn't realize that. Okay. Huh. So let's go over it. I had I thought I was I thought it was like a hundred and something lines. Well, this is this is just wonderful. Wonderful. So and it makes sense how to participate in the yield farming. So we have our pragma, our solidity, 0.8.0. I'm gonna put this whole code in the remix bot. I'll do it again later. So we have three interfaces, the, the IERC20, the iPair, and the iMasterChef. Obviously, for this, we have the approved transfer, transfer from balance, and the address spender, recipient sender, and the account. Let's just take a regular account. Uh, integer, numerical, numerical, numerical. And obviously, it's going to be a numerical number for this one. And for the transfer from, you have to go to send it to the recipient. So, and transfer is just a recipient in the amount. That's going to be transferred into this contract. The, the iPair. So in order for that, all this has to work before this is shown up in the interface. The iPair. So we get reserves in the total supply. As you can see the function, get reserves, total supply, external views. Um, so the reserves is this integer 112, which I don't know too much about, but reserve 0, reserve 1, or um, token 1, token 2. And a unit integer, sorry, 32, which is the block time timestamp last. So that's awesome to know. Total supply, this is going to spit out a number after all that. So that's how this interface will appear once those are, are met. Okay, then we got iMaster Chef. We had a deposit, withdrawal, and then pending reward, reward. So once we deposit the integer, well, I don't know what the PID is, but you know, I'll find out. And then the amount. So the PID is going to be whatever that is in the amount we know. External so people could view it outside the contract. Then you have the PID again, the amount, same thing. So once we meet the positive, we'll be withdraw, but we can see see all the um, immutability that's going on here. Uh, pending reward is going to show the PID and the address of the user. So once you do that, then you see the pending reward, and that's the views return. So it will definitely re return a reward that's in a numerical figure or a monetary figure, I should say. Wow, I'm getting better, baby. <laughs> Sorry. Contract, flash loan yield farmer. Mm, a, lot of, a lot going on. So we have the three public addresses, which is flash, tone, flash token address, pair, and the master shell. So flash token, the pair, and the master shell. What am I doing? Um, then um, I guess the integer is the flash token amounts. I'm going to pass that. The pig. What the hell is the pig? Pig. 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 And the, total, and the liquidity, so we'll see how much money's in there. So we'll spit all that out. Ooh, okay, so constructor. It's a state and, uh, state and local variable. Um, state and global variables. So we have the flash token address, the pair address, and the master and the PID address. Okay, so we have all those. So once again, the flash token is underscore, pair is underscore, master is underscore. Love constructor just makes so much sense. Now we have a function, participate yield farming. Okay, so you have the flash amount, you have the minimum liquidity taken amount, and that you can view that externally. So the flash token amount is the flash amount. Liquidity token amount is the flash amount. IRC 20, the flash token address. I like that better. It has to be approved by pair, by passing the pair address and the flash token amount. And then you have this integer 112, which represents the reserves, I guess, reserve. Zero and one, which is company one, two, I think, equals I pair address to get reserves. Wow, that's so com complicated. Then integer 256 amount token <sighs> equals to flash token amount times reserve one divided by reserve two. <laughs> so you have uh, three IERC 20 tokens. What? A the pair address, flash token address, and the pair address again. But one is approving, and the other one is transferring. So you approve the mastership address and the liquidity token amount. So once you get those two, then um, that can be approved. And transfer from messenger that sender with this address and getting the uh, token amount. That's how you get the IRC flash token address. The pair address, you transfer the mess message that sender and the liquidity token amount. I master chef, master chef address, deposit, PID, liquidity amount. So the function withdraw yield farming. That's awesome. 
So we have the I Master Chef, Master Chef address dot with hold pay liquidity token. I mm, integer two fifty six flash token balance is equivalent to the I, IRC flash token address imbalance of this address. IERC flash token amount, uh, address dot transfer message that sends a transfer balance. Okay, flash token amount equals zero liquidity token amount. The function check pending rewards. So this is at the very end, and that's the address of the user. And, it, and it, you can view it as outside the contract. Return I master chef master chef address dot pending reward. Okay, I, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, this is a good one. I understand the liquidity now even better. So you can just pop this code in the remix and make your money. No, I'm joking. Um, actually, I hope it isn't that simple, but there's a couple of, of environments you have to look at and stuff. So I'm still learning. I'm a newbie, but hey, anybody that if you have any work overflow that you can send my way for pennies on the dollar, listen, I would love to work in the real world. Like I said, I'm using a lot of AI to create these things and I still have to test most of them. But there are stuff that has already been tested. That's true. And that I learned from a boot camp. And so I have so much that's already ready to rock and roll. And I'm actually in the process of creating my own meme coin. Um, it's already created, actually. So I'm going to work on that today. But I'm kind of tired. Oh, you can see. Oh, sorry. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining. I, I think I got like three new um, YouTube subscribers. Thank you all, man. I, I, I love this with all my heart. It's just... And, <laughs> Put it like this, where I am right now, a month ago, I wasn't, I couldn't really articulate that much. But the more I do it, the more I say it, the better I get. And hopefully the better you, you will understand on your side, if you, unless you're a master at this, which I want to get to your level. All right, everybody, without further ado, take care, Sadi Hop. Later, I have to do one hand. <laughs> take care, guys.